Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, it's Coach Sterling here um, from Twisters Gymnastics in Iowa, and I just thought I'd hop on real fast and kind of just talk about a few things and how we can keep our gymnasts prepared while we're going through this uh, this time. So, um, so obviously with the coronavirus and stuff like that, I know how everybody has their own opinions about about you know the virus and whatnot and uh you know uh, i'm not gonna say there's no right or wrong answer i'm not gonna judge anybody i'm just saying in general that um um you know i think the thing is is we need to make sure that we're all staying healthy washing our hands every day and whatnot and um i i think the uh the over buying everything is kind of getting a little ridiculous, but you know, like I said, that's my opinion. Everybody has their own. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Hello, Carolyn. Nice to see you as well. Um, hope everything, I hope everything this week is going well for everybody. So, well, as, as well as it could get right. But, um, anyway, um, thanks for everybody hopping on. Um, so obviously, you know, our gym's closed right now. We're out for two weeks and well, until further notice, um, until we know more of what to do, but we're out for two weeks. So that means your gym is are out for two weeks, you know, or however long your gym's closed for, um, you know, figuring out things as a coach for them to do at home is important because, you know, two weeks is, is a lifetime in gymnastics. Um, because when you're out for two weeks, like you feel pretty crummy at the end of the two weeks and you get back in and you can't do much cause your strength is gone and your flexibility is kind of, you know, somewhat, you know, and, uh, so, you know, coaches come up with ideas for your kiddos to do at home. Obviously safety is priority. Um, so make sure that you are, uh, you know, it's not like hard skills. It's more like dance stuff. Conditioning, obviously, strength is so important. So make sure you guys are doing, having your kids do that every day. And parents and everybody, everybody should be conditioning every day. You know, work out every day, stay healthy, stay stay fit. So, but, um, uh, and flexibility. Make sure you guys are doing lots and lots of flexibility. Hi, kid, I miss you. Hey, what's up, Jill? It's great to see you, or great to hear from you. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for joining. Um, but uh, yeah, um, you know, everybody, all all coaches should have a plan for their kiddos, and um, making sure everybody's staying healthy and whatnot. So, um, uh, not only strength, flexibility, shape, technique that you can do at home, handstands against the wall, you know, just simple stuff that's gonna be good for your kids to do throughout the time that they're out. Um, but not only that stuff is, uh, is content online, uh, following gymnastics, obviously. Um, there is go on YouTube, you know, go on YouTube. There's a page that I like to go to. I actually go to it quite often and I, um, I think it's awesome. Uh, but, uh, his name is Dave Tilly. And I am sure a lot of you guys have heard of him. Maybe not, maybe so. But he's a great guy, and he has his own YouTube channel. It's called Science, or no, sorry, it's called Shift Movement Science and Gymnastics Education. Um, it's a great YouTube channel. It's got everything. It's got a lot of great coaches, athletes talking about just all sorts of stuff about um, conditioning, um, gymnastics, and. Um, uh, and about philosophy and stuff like that. So I think it's a great page. Um, and um, you'll find some pretty cool stuff on there. So, but anyway, um, yeah, keep your keep your kids busy at home. And, and including yourself. It's, you know, it's very important. You know, especially with the gym being closed for two weeks. Um, we got to figure out stuff to do for those kids. Um, injury prevention stuff. Lots of physical prep. Um, you can never get enough of physical prep. Um, you know, here at the gym, I have a physical prep list on the wall. 
that that the kiddos have to do. Um, and it is very important that they hit that um, so that way our ankles, our wrists, everything stays safe and we are strong and we're not going to get injuries. So, um, so please, I encourage you um, to make sure that there is some sort of physical prep while you're at home. Um, I know that some of you guys, some kids out there at Jimis have um, ankle weights, therabands, um, dumbbells, weights, stuff like that. If you do, great. If you don't, there's always other ways to kind of skin that cat and work work without and whatnot. But um, obviously, a little bit of weight helps. So, um, but yeah, just make sure you guys are staying busy until the gyms, until your gym or our gym is back up and running and whatnot. So, um, <laughs> um, obviously I, I post a lot of stuff on Facebook, so I will be posting a lot of things that, um, that you can do at home for your gymist and whatnot. Lots of great content that you can look up. Like I said, shift movement, science and gymnastics education. It's on YouTube. Check it out with Dave Tilly and a lot of great, a lot of great speakers and coaches and athletes on there. Um, yep. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to, um, feel free to, uh, throw me some comments or throw me some questions or anything like that. And I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so right now I'm, I am working on, um, obviously in our gym, we have the equipment, we have all the stuff, but obviously when they're at home, it's a little different. So I'm making a new, um, conditioning lesson plan for them. Combines the flexibility and stuff for them at home. And we're going to post it on the page, send emails out and kind of get those, those parents and whatnot. So, um, cause we want to make sure they stay healthy, happy and, and more. So, um, but yeah, this coronavirus thing is, uh, is quite the ordeal. Um, and I have, uh, I couldn't tell you what, what I'm thinking about it right now is, but, um, I think some things are a little ridiculous, but also I think it's very important that we, we don't exclude on what's going on and whatnot, you know? So, um, and with the deal of, Hey, what's up, Nicholas? <laughs> Uh, with the deal of every everybody buying toilet paper, like that is, I don't know, that is doesn't make any sense to me. Like you go to a store and you just overload on toilet paper, you know, because who needs food and water, right? When you have rolls of toilet paper, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, I won't get too much into that that baloney. So. Um, you know, I'm looking on here right now on my computer here, and um, they that shift movement science and and gymnastics education YouTube page has a lot of. I just wanted to say it has a lot of great stuff. It's got um, elite gymnastics with Coach uh, Nick Ruddick, and he's a great coach. He's one of the best, and you know, um, he talks about vault drills and whatnot. You have Ohio State gymnastics coach uh, Lucas uh, Watson, and shares his knowledge and whatnot. And Doc Alley is on there. Uh, Tom Meadows is on there. You should watch Tom Meadows. Uh, yeah, watch Tom Meadows on developing um, elite male gymnasts and his stuff like that. And I know it's uh, some of you guys have uh, men's gymnastics, but. Girls gymnastics, that's also a great, great one to watch because just what he's talking about and stuff like that uh, makes a lot of sense. And he's a great guy. I love Tom. Um, uh, a lot of nutrition stuff on there. Check it out. Um, Dr. Josh, I don't know if you guys have heard Dr. Josh. He goes a lot of, does a lot of nutrition stuff. And uh, um, he's a great, great speaker and he, he knows his stuff. So uh, everybody in here knows his stuff. So, um, Whoops. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so a lot of great stuff on there. Um, 
but yeah, I just can't believe we're out for two weeks. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, you know, um, we just got to stay busy and we got to stay positive about it. Keep a, keep a positive mind about what's going on right now. And, and, you know, just pretty much try to stay busy, do what you can. So, but like I said, um, two weeks is a long time and, you know, it's going to be, you know, it'll be a good time to catch up on some, uh, lesson plan work and whatnot and, and, uh, catch up on my education a little bit on the gymnastics. So there's always something new that I could be learning every day. Um, and also that's an important thing to talk about as well is that, uh, Every day, you know, especially as a coach myself, um, and I'm, I'm not saying I know it all. I do know a lot, um, but there's always something new I could be learning and to improve my coaching as well, um, whether it be on actual skills, whether it be on dance. I'm horrible dance coach, by the way. I'm sure there's a lot of you that say that too, but I'm telling you, I'm horrible at it. I, I can't do beam. Could do beam. I probably, yeah, I don't really want to be, but anyway, um, that's why I just leave it up to John and Brittany and all those guys. I'm like, yeah, just go see them. They know what they're talking about. Um, I usually do bars, uh, vault and floor. So I try, I try my best. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so, but, uh, great to see everybody hopping on here on the chat here on the live and uh there's a few of you guys that are hopping on i haven't talked to in a while so that's always good to see you guys hopping on and some new ones new people hopping on it's great it's great so but uh yeah so i'm currently at the gym right now obviously there's no one here and we don't have any classes going but good opportunity like I said before is to work on some lesson planning stuff and and just plan for the summer and then plan for next competition season um, what I always was taught and um, and also I'm going to give out some some good info is when you do lesson planning you want to at least try to plan for the next 10 years and I say that because you always want a 10-year plan because obviously, you know, um, you know, you just, it's kind of hard to explain, um, but five to 10 years, five to 10-year plan, make sure that you know what you're doing for each year. You have your, uh, hey, Dave Tilly, Dave, I was talking about you, buddy. I was telling everybody about your your YouTube channel about shift movement science and gymnastics education. So glad you uh, glad you hopped on, man. You have great stuff. I love watching your stuff. Love love watching your content. So, um, but uh, yeah, you know, always have a plan. Make sure that you know what you're doing for the summertime and then for your competition time. Um, it's good to have this stuff all obviously planned and written out into some sort of format that you can understand and everybody else can understand, um, and especially your gymnast. Um, so that way you know what you're doing every day and, um, and then your goals are set. So you know what you need to be working on or what your future skills you want to be working on. So that way upgrades are looking good and stuff like that. So, but, um, one step at a time, one day at a time. So, so what do we say? It's my motto. One day at a time. So, but yep. Um, hey, hey, well, tell Jesse and Joshua I said hi. It's been a it's been a long time, and I hope they're doing well. I, like I said, I keep looking at Facebook and I see all the pictures and videos that you guys post. So everybody's looking good, looking sharp down there in Virginia. I like it. Um, yeah, tell them I said hi. Hope you're doing good yourself and whatnot. And um, <coughs> um, yeah, so that's that's great. Great to see that the boys are doing good and you guys are doing good. So, 
But yeah. Um, hmm. I cannot think of anything to... I don't know. I think I've covered everything that I was going to talk about. Um... But like I was saying about the like the five year plan, the ten year plan, whatever you know, you get yourself started on a good plan. And if you want to go by year, that's fine. That's what I do. I I have a five year plan, it's pretty much set. It's getting there. Um, but I go by year, obviously. Obviously, every gymnast is going to be different. You know, you're not going to have the same group of kids that are going to do everything exactly the same. Everybody's different. Um, so if you go by year, you can see how your kids are doing, how they're improving, and then whatever changes you need to make either with the group or per kid, then obviously you can make that change at the end of the year or at the end of a season. So like the summer training time or the competition training time. So um, that's kind of how I do it, and it's worked for me great, and um, it keeps me on track of what the kids need to be working and what they have already. So that way we're not, basically we're not spinning in circles and we're not doing the same old thing over and over and over. We're kind of keeping it fresh, keeping it new. Obviously some things have to be repeated and I should, sorry, rewrite that. Uh, a lot of things have to be repeated, like basics, shapes, techniques, strength, you know, your usual stuff. Um, but obviously, you know, we have to make sure that we are, we're training the appropriate skills for summertime. And that is kind of like the fun time. Summertime is always a fun time. I love summertime, uh, and training in the gym and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you get to work on new skills or work on existing skills that need to be worked on stuff like that. You know, um, never be afraid to take a step back and work on the basics, uh, or um, if you're having trouble on a skill that is affecting uh, an upgrade skill one, one day, you know, don't be afraid to take a step back and say, hey, this is what we need to do. We need to go back to this drill and we need to drill it out a thousand times. And if it, and if you're understanding and it looks good and, and, and it makes sense, then, hey, now we can take a step forward. And, you know, uh, uh, just like... Uh, what Tom Meadows says, uh, you know, don't be afraid to take a step back so you can push harder later in the future. And I totally agree. Um, no need to, um, no need to be in a rush. We're not in a rush to do things wrong, right? Um, we want to also make sure that we build good gymnastics, you know? Um, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, but we also want to make sure the kiddos are having fun and enjoying what they're doing and stuff like that. And, you know, um, there still has to be that hard work. You know, you got to, when you get in the gym, you got to be able to, you got to be willing to work hard and, uh, you know, sweat a little bit, have some fun with it, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, just be willing to prep and get, get yourself ready for the future and whatnot. But with theirs, there's a lot of fun. I want, I want to make sure everybody knows that, you know. And I would say me as a coach, I struggle a little bit with keeping it fun a little bit. And I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm, I like to get in the gym. I like to get stuff done, obviously. And I want the kids to know that that is an expectation they have to reach is when they get in the gym. They have to know that this stuff has to get done, obviously. But with that, we can make practice fun. I mean, we can't be playing games every single day, you know. But every once in a while, yeah, have it fun, you know, try new things um, and stuff like that. So, you know, because obviously we need to be making sure that we are getting our skills done and getting them prepped safely and correctly um, and then getting ready for competition season. So, you know, because if you did it fun, you know, if you did games every single day, then obviously... Uh, keeping track of what you're doing in the gym skill wise would kind of be going down the drain a little bit. Um, but like I said, keep it fun, you know, make sure you're working on what you need to work on. Um, you know, obviously we want the kids to know the meaning of hard work and, you know, get in there and have goals, um, and stuff like that. So, um, um, you know, I, I wish I could say the sport of gymnastics is all, 
rainbows and sunshine and rainbows and whatnot. But you know, there are obviously there are obviously times where you know you have to get to work, you have to be focused, you gotta stay on task, and get get your stuff done and whatnot. Um, but there's also times where it's gonna be a lot of fun, and you get you know it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, um, um, I would say figuring out the balance between those two things is, is definitely, it's not hard, but it's, um, you, you want to get stuff done. You want to get a lot of things done, but you got to make sure you have time for, you, you do, you have to make sure you give those kids some time to have fun, you know, a little play time here and there. Um, obviously, um, a good dose of it, but then a good dose of making sure you're still working hard, you're getting your flexibility done, you're getting your training done and whatnot, and you know, getting ready for those meets and whatnot. So, but yeah, um, mm-hmm. I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else to chat about um, at this time. I will try to. Uh, try to keep going live here maybe in the next few days and talk about some more gymnastics things and whatnot and what we can, what you can do at home and whatnot and stuff like that. So, but yeah, well, I hope everybody's having a good week or at least the best week they can make it out of. Like I said, keep a positive mind. Um, we don't need to be, you know, freaking out and whatnot because obviously when, when you show that you're freaking out, obviously everybody else is. So it's kind of actually that's a good point, you know. It's kind of like gymnastics, you know. Um, you know, if there's kids that have injuries and what like what not, it's what you show on your face and your body reaction, your face reaction. If you show that you're going to be freaked out and scared, well then you're going to that's what's going to happen for that kid or that gymnast. So um so yeah. Like I said, um it could be the most horrible thing in the world. But as long as you show that you're having a positive uh, mindset on it and whatnot, and you're not looking like you're going to, you know, I don't know, something. Uh, so just keep keep a positive mind, and you'll be good to go. So, all right, guys. Well, it's great to see everybody on here. Like I said, have a great week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'm hoping that your gym, you know, hoping that everybody's, businesses and gyms and whatnot will open sooner than later and we can get back to back to training and getting those skills and whatnot so all right well i think it's about time for me to sign off here and go home and keep working on lesson plans and whatnot and uh all that good stuff so all right guys have a good week stay safe stay healthy we'll see you later bye guys